and Radisic down to the first bend. This is going to be a real sprint down to there. It looks as though Goudini, Larini have got Radisic. They have. And it's the Peugeot and the Alpha disputing the first corner. And the Alpha makes it. So Radisic starting from pole position, not picking up down that first short straight to the first corner. And this whole jumble of cars going through. Everybody locking up brakes, trying to find a bit of room. Joubert in big trouble. So Joubert, one of the first men to be pushed sideways as Larini pulls away from Radisic, who's claimed second place again. Cudini, Dalmas, a big kerfuffle at the back with Rouse and Soper involved and Giovanardi. So all sorts of problems there. Soper and Rouse both look as though they've stopped at the Curva Grandi. So problems for the British team already with two of their cars, it seems, sidelined. Let's just have a look at what happened. Seems that Soper spun and collected Rouse. It happened in that order. Giovanardi also involved in that mix-up. Aiello coming down totally blind. The engine cover having flown up in front of the windscreen. Not a lot of room out there. There's Winklehock crowding and being forced out himself over the sand and the gravel. So Van der Poel in the Nissan slides through. Winklehock loses at least three places.